day. I'm Christian Valdez. I'm Marvin Bagulbe. For Bench Bites, and today we're going to be making some fruit and nut clusters. You're going to need 125 grams of cashew nuts, 125 grams of corn flakes, 5 grams of amarula, 12 grams of confectioner sugar, 60 grams of milk chocolate, 40 grams of cocoa butter, 60 grams of dried fruits of your choice. First, we're going to start by cutting up our cashew nuts. We're going to add the amarula to the cashew nuts. Add in the powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar until the cashew nuts are evenly coated. Then mix it all together in a bowl. Place it evenly on a baking tray. Then toast it until golden brown for around 5-7 to seven minutes. Take it out and let it cool. So you guys see how it has that like that lightly toasted color to it. And let me see. Oh. You get a hint of coffee, the nuttiness. And you also get the, the sweetness of the sugar. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Melt the chocolate for about two minutes while checking on it every 30 seconds or so to give it a good stir. Wait until the chocolate melts completely before you temper it. That is love in a bowl. You can tell it's tempered if you can write your name with the chocolate and it stays. Melt the cocoa butter in the microwave for around 2 minutes. Add in the vegetable oil or melted cocoa butter to your chocolate to prevent clumping when adding your dry ingredients. Add in all of your dry ingredients into the melted milk chocolate and mix it together. Get a baking tray and line it with some parchment paper, then scoop your chocolate clusters on there. To mix it up a bit, you can sprinkle a little salt onto your clusters. Once you're done with that, just pop it in the fridge for about 10 minutes. Once it's done, you'll notice it has a matte look on it and it'll come off clean from the tray when you remove it. And there you go. You've got your fruit and nut clusters. 